So I've gotten a number of questions about what a wash is, and um, I don't have any hot water up here or where I do my video, so I'm going to show you what a wash is or describe it to you so you understand. And at the same time, I'm also going to give you a bit of a overview on the way we make our tea so that it tastes perfect every time. So, so let me describe first how you would make a normal cup of tea without actually doing a wash. So normally what we would do is we boil enough hot water to fill this mug twice and there's a reason for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the mug down. We will then pour in hot water. We'll go ahead and pour in all the way to the top with hot water. But we will not put this tea strainer in. We'll let that sit for a minute. And the reason for that is it's actually going to heat up the cup. Um, you'd be surprised at how much the temperature of the water drops when you put it into a cold mug. And that will dramatically affect both the flavor and how well the steeping works. So what we recommend is that you fill the cup up with boiling water first. Let it sit for about 5-10 seconds. Once you do that, dump that out. Then go ahead and re-pour hot water in. And this time what you'll do is you'll go ahead and put the tea strainer in. Um, and I'm using our our chef's single serve tea strainer. You may have seen this one before, or maybe you've purchased it. Um, it's got a twist top lock that that clicks when it's on tightly. And so what you do is after you've heated the mug, you go ahead and drop this in for three to five minutes, depending on your tea type. Go ahead and pull it out, and you should have the perfect cup of tea. And I can't emphasize how much a difference that'll make in terms of keeping the mug hot and actually pouring your tea into a hot mug as opposed to a cold mug that will drop the water temperature. All right, so that's how to make a normal cup of tea. Now, let's assume you've got a tea um, that's really fine. Maybe it's um, a cinnamon or ginger spice tea with ground cinnamon or ground ginger, or maybe it's a, um, a tea that's got some herbs in it, you know, maybe some needles, something small. And uh, let's just say that they're small enough that they go ahead and get through these really fine holes that we have in our fuser. Now, the trick is people will often say, oh, you know, that this tea strainer doesn't work for all teas. And that's true. That's true of almost every single uh, stainless steel infuser and even most of the mesh infusers. It's virtually impossible with spiced teas and some of the herbal teas to keep everything inside the infuser. So what we recommend doing and what has become common practice now is what's called a wash. The way a wash works is we go ahead and put the tea inside, close this up, and similar to what we just described, what we do is we go ahead and fill this, we boil enough water for two cups, we go ahead and fill this up with water. The difference is this time we actually put this in and we put it in there for probably about anywhere between five and ten seconds. Don't swirl it around much, don't, don't do much to it, just let it sit there. Two things are going to happen. One, a lot of small particles will come out and two, the tea will start to expand. Don't leave it in there for more than about ten seconds. Pull that out, dump the cup, Okay, like before. Now fill it up with hot water again. Your cup will be at temperature. It'll be at the right temperature. Your hot water will fill. And at this point, you should have gotten rid of a significant amount of the debris. Go ahead and drop your tea strainer back in. And you'll let that steep for three to five minutes, depending on your tea. And when you're done, what you should have is a um, much better cup of tea without a lot of debris down in the bottom of your tea or any kind of floaties. So that's what a wash is, and that's how to make the the right cup of tea with um, by preheating your cup. So hopefully that helps and uh, appreciate you watching the video. Thanks. Bye.